You guys ready to rat and roll? Hey guys, welcome back to the Bald Shredder channel. Today, we're here to talk about one of my all-time top 10 favorite bands from the 80s, Rat. I always loved Rat because they had awesome guitar riffs, cool vocals. Steven had a very like growly, unique voice. Juan with the great harmonies, awesome guitar licks, incredible solos from Warren and Robin. And to this day, Invasion of Your Privacy is still one of my all-time favorite 80s hard rock albums. So here we are in 2022, and what the heck is going on with Rat? Steven seems to be the only one that is consistently out there doing stuff. Meanwhile, the other three original guys that are still around, Bobby, Juan, and Warren, I don't know what they're doing. Obviously, there's some bad blood there. There was a lot of litigation. There were lawsuits. They were suing Bobby. Bobby was suing them. But that stuff all seems to be like over and done with at this point. And from the comments that they've made in the press, it seems like, you know, Bobby and Steven, they, they kind of have a relationship going. It doesn't seem like there's that much bad blood between them. Now, I don't know about Bobby and Juan and Bobby and Warren, uh, I haven't seen any comments in the press recently from Warren or Juan. So I'm gonna read to you guys what Bobby and Steven have said recently about like a possible rat reunion tour whatever. Okay, so I'm reading to you from an article that was on Blabbermouth a couple of days ago. I'll put a link to this article in the description if you wanna read the full thing. Here's what Bobby had to say a couple of days ago. You guys want a rat OG tour? Email Warren. He's locked in his rose garden. Juan is locked in his house somewhere, but him and Steven, whew, not good. Steven and I, great, and ready to friggin' rat and roll. I really believe, and I've said this to the band, we owe this to them. You guys were the ones who fuels the rat tank from the get-go. As for how he's been spending his time, Bobby wrote, I'm cool, sort of in retirement, lol. Just been playing golf, working on my suntan, my swimming pool, helping raise my girlfriend's two kids, raising my dogs and cats. I'm bored at the same time, lol. I want to play. I think it's safe to say that Bobby would prefer to be out there on the road, on tour, playing shows. He doesn't want to sit at home, but if the other guys don't want to go out, what's he supposed to do? Everybody lives very comfortably and doesn't really have to go on tour. Some of us are just tired of the way things get run and not having the power to change it. When you have five seasonal Indians running around, that's what happens. So I guess he's saying, you know, like all, all five guys in the band, they all want to be in charge and, and just nothing can get decided because everybody's trying to be in charge. For me, I don't want to hear about any old stuff and why do you do this, why did he do that, etc. All I want to do is rehearse for the tour and get on the road and entertain you guys. That doesn't mean we can't be friendly to each other. I just don't want to, at this point, fight about anything. So it sounds like Bobby is willing to forgive and forget. He just wants to move on, forget about all the, you know, the bad blood, the whatever went on before, and he just wants to get out there and move forward and have a good time. We have one of the best catalogs in arguably at least a big part of rock history, and it's a shame that we're not out playing it but it still sells like crazy and brings a hell of a lot of money and so people are still enjoying it and buying it, playing it, downloading it and all that other kind of stuff. If you can read between the lines, I think you understand what's in certain people's mind. I'm not totally sure what he means by that. Now let's just remember it here real quick, guys. The last Rat album was Infestation back in 2010. So it's been 12 years since the last Rat album. I got it, I loved it, I was pleasantly surprised. The production was good, the songs were good, the riffs were great, the guitar work was awesome, of course. I loved the fact that they had Carlos from Quiet Riot in the band. I felt like he really added something to the band. And after all the lawsuits and all that stuff was settled and the name was settled, back in 2017, Rat was playing some shows. And those shows included Steven on vocals, Juan on bass, Warren on guitar, and Carlos on guitar. Not Bobby on drums though. But then just the following year, 2018, Warren announced that he wasn't gonna play any more shows with Rat, and then Carlos quit, so they had to get a couple of fill-in guitar players, a couple of unknown guys, and then a drummer, and then they were going out and still playing shows as Rat, 
But the only two original guys at that point were Steven and Juan. And yes, I know there's plenty of bands out there that play with one original member or sometimes even no original members. So in this case for Rat, it was two originals and three fill-ins. And they did that for a while. And then fast forward to 2021, Steven Piercy had a show at the Whiskey and who joined him at that show on stage for at least part of the show? drummer Bobby Blotzer. So Steven and Bobby seem to get along okay. All right guys, now I'm gonna read to you some comments that Steven has made recently. I'd rather play with my solo band than the brand, the cover band, so to speak. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but look, no Warren. He chooses to kick back and that's all great. And Bobby, everybody's pretty much laid back except for me. So I'm just taking care of business. Okay, so Steven makes it sound like He's the only one that wants to go out on the road and play shows. He even said, Bobby, he's just laid back. What does that mean? It makes it sound like he doesn't want to go out on the road, right? Asked what the relationship is like between him and the other members of Rat's classic lineup, Percy said, it's all business pretty much. There's no business in the Rat camp, unfortunately. And that's unfortunate, but that's why I do my thing. I talk to Bob every now and then, that's about it. Warren, I guess, chooses to just be laid back from what I gather. And that's all cool. So again, he's saying laid back. So I'm gonna interpret that as saying like, Warren doesn't want to tour. He doesn't want to go out and do shows. He just wants to kick back at home and relax, be retired, I guess. Piercy acknowledged that it would be great if we all pulled together and reunited all the surviving members of Rat's classic lineup. But he admitted that it's not gonna happen. You're dealing with a lot of ego, he said. So there you go, guys. That Maybe that's the biggest issue here. Who knows? I don't know. I don't give a crap, actually. This is where it starts, and this is where it's gonna end, and that's with me. And I'm out there just doing what I do. Look, I'd rather be out there with my solo band than having the rap band out there with just me and the bass player in rap. That's not what Rat was. Rat was Crosby, Piercy, Demartini, Bobby, and Juan, and so be it. And I'd rather give a bit of integrity to the band because it was a great rock band and just continue doing what I do. You can't beat a dead horse or try to BS people, although there are plenty of bands out there doing just that. Look, like I said, no disrespect. We've had a lot of great players come and go. That's where the problem is. We've had people coming and going and coming and going. Rat is not all these different people. Rat was these five guys and no disrespect. People want to lay back, great. I don't. And that's where it is. Asked if he regrets having done shows under the Rat name with just him and Juan from the band's classic lineup, Steven said, yeah, actually, yeah because it's not the same. I don't like to BS. Look, you wanna hear the songs? I wrote them. Come see me play them. I sang them. Maybe somebody else helped rearrange them or added some lyrics. I don't know. It's all the same. Okay, so there you have it. Comments from Bobby, comments from Steven. Obviously, Steven wants to be out there touring, playing shows. He's never stopped, whether it was with Rat or with his solo band. Bobby wants to be out there touring and playing shows. You can read between the lines on what he said. We don't have any comments from Juan or Warren. If I remember a few years back, Juan was saying he wanted to do a new Rat album and he had song ideas ready to go, but nobody else in the band wanted to work on a new album. And I'm gonna go ahead and guess here that Juan does wanna play, he does wanna tour, and he was fine playing as Rat when it was just him and Steven as the only two original guys in the band. Steven seems to be the one that has the problem of like playing as Rat when it was only him and Juan. Is there ever gonna be another Rat reunion? Will there be a tour at some point? I would like to think so. I would like to say yes, there will be at some point, but who knows with these guys, you know? You don't really know what they're thinking and whatever they're feeling or thinking could change at any time from one year to the next. So maybe down the road, we'll get another Rat album, maybe a tour, maybe a handful of shows. Who knows, we'll just have to wait and see. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you think that 
Steven, if it's only Steven and Juan, should they go out and call it Rat? Or no, uh, would you be glad if the four guys got to back together with Bobby on drums? And then maybe they could get Carlos back on guitar if Warren came back too. Seems unlikely, but would you be up for that if they did that? How excited would you be? I mean, I think it would be pretty cool. All right guys, so be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.